Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Zian, an English department student from Jakarta. This video is my another project for my literary appreciation class. So I will discuss about the radio plays Sorry Wrong Number by Lucille Fletcher. To be honest, I kind of felt that I am entertained by a murder genre. Radio plays a sorry wrong number by Lucille Fletcher is not only had a tragically story but also a trigger uh, to whoever reads and heard it. The characteristics of Agnes here are so strong character that can engage the whole story because of she is the main characters and also the protagonist. Lucille Fletcher herself as an author who created the story said she was inspired by an incident from someone else like uh, that means the story created from a real story in life the reason why i felt a little entertained is the story gave me the tension panic attack and this created in paranoia the tension that i feel since the first case that represented at your call please operator i i i've just been cut off I'm sorry, what number were you calling? Why, it, it was supposed to be Murray Hill 70093, but it wasn't. Some wires must have got crossed. I was cut into a wrong number, and I, I, I've, I've just heard the most dreadful thing, something about a murder. And, uh, operator, you'll simply have to retrace that call at once. I beg your pardon. I think that gives me a relation with my experiences when I got news from my cousins or auntie, how dreadful thing that we can heard about an incident. It built the tension of any readers and the key of the raising actions. The next case, Agnes, Agnes feels that she got the panic attack when her husband is still and reached up by the phone. It, re it represented a... Oh. oh, now why did I hang up the phone like that? Now we don't think I am a fool. Oh, why doesn't Albert come home? Why doesn't he? So, it's a very related to me when I kind of find out the reason why someone doesn't have a replay of my chat or denied my telephone. It's triggering of someone worries about their conditions. Most of the important is from our beloved person that we have. That makes us blaming ourselves even though that is not our mistakes. The desperate that Agnes made also can be triggered my attention while reading it. It, it represented in... Everything's wrong. I haven't had one bit of satisfaction out of one call I've made this evening. The whole world could be murdered for all you people care. And now, now my phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing every five seconds or so. And when I pick it up, there's no one there. I'm sorry. If you reflected on my experiences when some of the strangers calling my phone, and when I answered them, uh, they just trying to hypnotize me. So it makes me have trust issues with that. Uh, I will never hang the phone up from a non number. Agnes may murder it when she cannot find the solving from her incident. Instead of complaining, Agnes will murder Well, of all this stupid... And meanwhile, I've got to sit here in my bed suffering every time that phone rings, imagining everything. I will try to check the trouble for check you. It, check it, check it. on me because of in the real life, when we feel threatened by crimes, who so will be overthink about it and cannot feel myself to murder likes and try to not offend. In the end, I can imagine and also wondering about the situation of that Agnes faces. It makes my tension of panic, overthinking the person of paranoia and stuff because of I cannot do and uh, nothing even though that I've been trying. But when we can think slowly and trying to not panic, we can face it easily because we can more logical and think about the way we can help ourselves or someone's life someone's life. If I were Agnes, I would like to wake up from my bed and go to the police station for the safe place that can protect myself so the incident can be avoided by our logical actions. I can consider that we have to be nice a person, whatever it's uh, next in another video project. Bye bye.